Hello, I just want to show you one of my math books in this video. This book is called Complex Variables and it's by Robert B. Ash. In this video, we're just going to take a really quick look at this book. This book is probably pretty easy to get. I don't think it's difficult to buy, but even better, it's free. That's right, this book is 100% free and I'll leave links in the description in case you want to buy the book or in case you want uh, a copy of the book. Robert B. Ash uh, died not long ago and it's really sad and I found out uh, on his website because on his website he has this book and he has other books and he was an amazing mathematician and he's got great math books. This is a great math book. It is not a book for beginners if you're curious. It is a much more advanced book on complex variables. Robert B. Ash, University of Illinois. Yeah, a legend. And this book is old, right? It's from 1971. Wow, really, really old. And let's go through the content so you can see what's in it. Basic definitions, the extended plane, and then right away, look at that page six, you're already on analytic functions, so it doesn't waste any time. It doesn't waste any time. And look, already we're on integration on paths on page 17. So it's one of those books that moves pretty quickly, which means that details are going to be omitted. Examples are going to be missing or omitted. Um, it's very, very terse, very quick, but it's clean and correct. It also has answers to almost every single problem in the back of the book, which is unusual for a book of, of this level. The general Cauchy theorem, applications of the Cauchy theory, entire functions, look, infinite products, and families of analytic functions. The prime number theorem, look, it's got an entire section on the Riemann zeta function. Wow and solutions to problems on page 203. And it seems like it has almost all the answers. There's a couple that are missing. A lot of times they'll say stuff like, oh, it's immediate by you know 1.2.7 or something. So, um, but for example here, like number one's missing, but there's two and three. Yeah, and, and you see he goes through all of, all of the, you know, the painstaking, he goes through the proofs, he explains everything. So it's not like this is a book with terse explanations and no answers, no. It's, it's a book with clean explanations, and it's just written at a higher level, right? A level that, um, you know, you, you need to be at, I think, before really benefiting from this book. But the good news is it's free. Let's read what he, uh, what he talks about here in the preface. In writing this book, I have attempted to achieve two goals. First, to provide a ready access to the subject for students who are just beginning the professional training in mathematics. Thus, I have tried to achieve reasonable coverage in a style that is easy to read. Yeah, it is easy to read, but again, it's a, it's a high level. And, you know, I think you should have a beginner book before tackling this one. Second, I wanted to present in a balanced way some of the main currents of thought in complex variables. For example, Cauchy's theorem is developed in chapter two via the homology approach, which allows maximum precision. And he goes on about some specific things there. Jump to the end there. I, I do feel like this is a book, again, that you would probably want to have some complex variables. So for beginners, I would recommend um, the book by Safin Snyder. I think that's that's my favorite book on complex variables. A more popular choice, which is probably um, less expensive, is the one by Brown and Churchill. And I say that because it's been there's so many editions. It's just been it's like a timeless book. It's like the standard for learning complex variables. Another choice is actually the Shams on complex variables. That's a book that you can use that will help you greatly. I think everyone should own that book um, if they're serious about learning complex variables. So you can see here the, um, the outline, how the book reads, the index of a point with respect to a closed curve, got a definition, curve as a continuous map, gamma from a bounded closed interval, a, b of reals to the complex plane, c. And there's a theorem, and he gives a proof, right? It's clean. A clean layout. It's a clean book. Clean mathematics. That's what, when I think of this book, I think of just like it's like a series of like perfect notes. That's what this book is like. It's like these are his notes, and so like he goes with these, and he goes on his chalkboard, and he presents the material. That's that's what the book feels like to me. I don't know if that's how the book was created. Uh, I'm assuming it is. Most books come from professors' notes, right? Professors go in there every day. Uh, and they teach the material, and then you know the semester passes, they go back and they do it again. So they become experts. Right? They become experts at these proofs, at these presentations. And so eventually they just say, hey, I'm going to write a book. And so they write books, and then us uh, people, us mortals, <laughs> are you know blessed with the fact that other people who have come before us and have you know studied math intensely like this uh, are you know. 
they have presented to us in books like this. Yeah, I don't know. Books are a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing. Anyways, I will leave a link in the description to a free, free version of this book because it's free. I don't know if it's exactly this edition, by the way, um, because, you know, there are other editions of this book. I don't know what edition is on his website. He also has other books on his website, which I think you might find very, very useful. Anyways, that's it. Until next time, good luck and take care.